it's Rust and Proctor traction engine. Originally made in England around 1916. And it was imported into Australia by H.V. McKay, who the McKay harvester people. Uh, they were agents for Rust and Proctor. And uh, it's worked around Victoria for a fair while. Don't know the actual history, but uh, after McKay sold it, uh, it's thought that they used it as a demonstrator model for a few years. Uh, it worked in a quarry and it was eventually bought by Peter Briggs, who's you know, the York Motor Museum. Right. And Gary and Jill got it from, from there. And it has now been extensively restored um, by Bob Main, who was in charge of the project. Um, Jeff. Jeff Smith, yeah. So he used to call it, his bit's called Captain Mannering, you see, so. <laughs> so you, do you expect to have this back up and running? How long will that take? Oh, uh, look, it's hard to say. It's a very big job, but 12 months, I think it should be in steam. And how long have you um, been working, well, how long has it been getting worked on? Three years. Three years. Yeah. Now, when I say that, it was, it was a big project because it had to have a completely new firebox, mm -hmm. uh, a new throat plate, and had to be re-riveted with new stays and tubes. And to have that done, it went to England. So that took a fair bit of so time. So it actually has been to England and it's back? It's been back to England. Uh, not the wheels, just the bare bones of the machine. Not the, the engine stayed behind. Uh, whilst it was in England, it had new gears cut. Uh, the old gear is there. And that's the end of the firebox, and that's the, the original firebox there. Right. It's had a new water tank put in it. Uh, here's, it's actually 1911. Eight nominal horsepower, single uh, it's compound engine, number 40909. And boiler number three five eight double five, and uh, yeah, that's about some of the guys working on it. Beautiful. Thanks, yeah, that's great.